Earlier this year, my channel got a community strike from YouTube. Here's what happened. YouTube said that your content was removed due to a violation of our community guidelines. You won't be able to do things like upload, post, or live stream for one week. Crazy. It meant that if I were to get like three strikes in a row, my channel could actually be terminated. So yes, normally you would panic, but if this happens to you, I'm going to tell you the exact steps to follow and where to go for help. Here's what I did to save my channel. Step number one is to get help. If you are part of the creator program, if you are part of the partner program or you're monetized, then you can go and write to YouTube. You can live chat with them or email them. So I'll put a link in the description of where you can go to get help from the YouTube support team. When you go there, you'll see some options for getting in touch with them on different uh, Android phones and via computers, live chat options and email options. So I actually sent them an email and stick around because I'm going to tell you what to do if you are not part of the partner program you can still write to them and get in touch with them coming up okay so the email that I sent to them is I explained why I thought that this community strike was wrong okay because they told me that the links in my description were spammy and suspicious and they were violating their community guidelines and I know that my links were not doing that so here's the email that I wrote I believe a community strike was erroneously issued against my channel. The reason given was that the following two links in my video description are spam spa, slash scam or slash deceptive. Um, both these links go to landing pages on my website where a standard opt-in form is displayed. When someone fills out that form, they are sent free business resources. There is not, absolutely nothing deceptive or spammy about these links. I also checked my website for malware and there is absolutely nothing detected. Even though I've removed the offending links, I'm concerned that other links to my website will also be labeled as spam and similarly issued strikes against. Please have an actual human review these strikes who will be able to see the website links as perfectly normal and not spammy or deceptive at all. Thank you. So the first thing you want to do is plead your case and let them know if the strike was erroneously issued and why you believe that is the case and what actually is the nature of that offending link that they didn't like. And this is a very, very typical community strike that, you know, you could get for putting links in your description sometimes because it's all automated and robots are sometimes just miss flagging things, right? So that's what they did on my channel. And so this is the appeal that I wrote. Now, my concern was that because they flagged these links, they might start to flag these links on other videos of mine and I have these links on more than 250 videos so I was scared that I might get two more strikes like within the week and so in order to avoid that I implemented step two which is damage control now I wanted to remove those offending links temporarily until the strike was resolved and a human actually reviewed those links and found that they were actually not spammy so in the interim period I wanted to do damage control and remove those links. Normally, this would be an excruciatingly time intensive process, especially for someone who has a lot of videos on their channel. And I had over 250 videos, probably with most of those links in the description. So thankfully, I have a subscription to TubeBuddy and TubeBuddy has a great bulk and delete feature. It's also called uh, find and replace because if you want to replace your links, you can use that. But I wanted to bulk find and delete those links. So that's the feature that I used. So I typed on the uh, type those links and went to that feature and found all the links, uh, all the videos where those links were, all the descriptions where those links were. And I deleted them with one click. And so that was my damage control. And that was done within a few minutes, thanks to TubeBuddy's pro features. The next thing that I did, step three is communicate with my 
audience, because I couldn't upload or even post in the community tab and I couldn't do a live stream, I didn't want there to be radio silence for my subscribers and my audience thinking, where the hell have I disappeared to? So this is such an important step. You should let your audience know. But if you don't have your channel to let them know and you can't actually post anything, you want to have other ways to get in touch with your audience. And so I had my email list and I actually sent out an email to my audience audience telling them what had happened and letting them know that I'm working on resolving the situation. And so really, if you want to make sure that you have another channel of communication with your audience, I highly suggest building out your email list starting today. And you can watch some of the videos that I'm going to link to in the description for how to start getting leads and email subscribers from your YouTube videos. So remember to go and watch those videos after this video. So I was issued the strike on March 25th and I finally got an email on April 8th from YouTube. So this is quite a few weeks later. And uh, they said, hi Salma, thanks for your patience. I have good news for you. The community guidelines strike on your channel has been resolved, uh, et cetera, et cetera. The good news is that upon further review, we determined that the URL does not violate our guidelines. As such, we have resolved the strike and reinstated the URL. So step four was the resolution upon which I went and added those links back in again using TubeBuddy. So the moral of the story here is if you get a community strike, make sure that you follow these four steps, reach out, get help, make sure that you do damage control, make sure that you communicate. But really the most important thing is to remember that YouTube is just one income stream. Like AdSense is just one income stream. You should never be completely reliant on any social media platform for or your entire business model. I put together a guide of 13 different ways to earn money using YouTube. So you can start with YouTube, but then diversify into multiple income streams. I'm going to link to that guide down in the description. Make sure you grab that so that if your channel gets deleted or terminated, you get strikes, you don't panic. You're not going to lose your business. You still have a way to communicate with your audience and still have a way to grow your business. I will see you in the next one. Make sure you grab everything that I've mentioned down from the description today. Take care.